Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class and in this episode we are going to be looking at Rutherford's model of the atom. Before now we have looked at uh, John Dutton's postulate of his theories, we looked at uh, JJ Thompson's model of the atom and now we are looking at Ernest Rutherford's model of the atom. Ernest Rutherford who is considered to be the father of nuclear physics described the true nature of what of the atom because he was one that invented the very language to describe the uh, theoretical concept of the atom and the phenomenon of radioactivity. So when it comes to nuclear physics, and the Shutterford is a king, he's a father, widely regarded as the father of what of nuclear physics, right? And of course, he's highly regarded in that area of what of physics. Also, and the Shutterford was the man who discovered and named alpha particles alpha particles one we call alpha particles it was one that discovered and named beta particles beta particles beta particles and the one that also discovered and named protons he discovered and named what the protons so uh when it comes to nuclear physics Rutherford is widely recognized. All right. So uh, please note that this video tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jam CBT Practice App. It is being displayed on your screen right now. O3 School CBT Practice App is the best practice app available for you on your phone. So please uh, uh, go to Play Store, download the app, and not only download the download the app, make sure you want to activate the app to get the full benefits of the app, right? The app has all the past questions that you ever need for your jam exam. So for your four subjects, not just for chemistry, for your four subjects. In fact, once you activate the app, all subjects are activated for you. So you really want to choose, you have luxury to choose the four subjects you want to take in jam, right? That's all the past question. And another wonderful feature is the uh uh uh, CBT challenge that will work that will do what weekly is a UTME mock practice that what uh, all students taking jam participate in. So when you download the app and you activate, you are eligible to what to participate in the weekly mock exam. This will make you test or see how prepared you are for the word for the forthcoming exam. A word they say is enough for the wise. Activation of this app is just 2500 naira, a very, very small change. Once you pay that money, your app remains activated forever on your phone, provided you do not delete the app from your phone or you do not flash your phone. All right. So now I see talking about in a shooter fraud. And so it uh, it, it discovered and named the alpha particles, discovered and named the beta particles, and discovered and named the protons. So, likewise, another important thing to know that in 1911, 1911, and the shooter was carried out his famous alpha scattering experiment. Alpha scattering experiment. So he carried out his famous alpha scattering experiment using a what? A gold foil. He used a gold foil to carry out what is what is famous alpha scattering experiment. And what did this experiment say? The experiment demonstrated that the what that the atom has a tiny the atom has a tiny massive nucleus. So the experiment demonstrated that the atom had it was a tiny massive what, nucleus, and this helped the world to overturn Thompson's earlier what, model. So the experiment is also called, I know it's called alpha scattering experiment, but it's also called Giga and Massin, Giga Massin experiments. Because these two people, Hams Giga, his full name is Hams Giga, Giga, and Ernest Massin. Ernest Massin, right, carried out what this alpha scattering experiment on Rutherford's request. Rutherford was told them to what to carry out the experiment. So they can. Uh, it is also called the Massin experiment, but it was what for what for Rutherford, right? It was for Ernest Rutherford. So you need to just. Keep that at the word back of your mind. So they may ask you, the alpha scattering experiment is also called which of this? A, Oula Bitango experiment. B, um, Gigamansin experiment. C, 
Isaac Bronco experiment, D, Isaac Newton experiment. So you should know already that was uh, that uh, the alpha scattering experiment uh, that uh, Rutherford carried out in 1911, the year is very important also, was what also called the Yamatin what experiment. All right, so now let's quickly look at uh, the Yamatin as how what this uh, experiment what looks like. So a thin gold foil was was bombarded with what with alpha particles. So they bombarded a thin gold foil with, with alpha particles, and then uh, we we'll see that was some of the particles was passed through the uh, passed through passed through what the nucleus was successfully, while some what some were bounced what back. Some passed through successfully, while some that was hit what the nucleus was uh, were deflected. Right. So let's see how it looked like. Just a small di diagrammatic. Uh, presentation uh so that was something like this all right sorry that my circles may not be uh perfect but it's just for explanation sake so or something like this so so and then there's a source a source of alpha particles in this direction right so it was bombarding this a tingle for it was bombarding what uh this what tingle for with what with alpha particle uh, let's say there's a source here source of alpha, uh, of alpha particles here right uh all right let's see let's say it was bombarding it in this direction okay I said this was the source. So it was bombarding this direction in this direction, right? This is the nucleus of the atom. This is the nucleus, these are the nucleuses of the atom. Alright. So when it bombarded, it's a thin gold foil. Thin gold foil. So when it was bombarding what this thin gold foil with what? With this alpha particles, right? This is alpha particles, alpha particles source. So this was the source. This, this is the source of what? This is the source of what the alpha particles, right? So we're bombarding what this what thing go for it. So what what now happened when what was bombarding them? So so you can see that what that some of them what some of uh the, the, the alpha particles. So these are this this is alpha particle part. This is a part, alpha particle part. Right, so it is bombarding what this thing go for it. You see, as it's bombarding them, uh, some were so we're passing through what successfully, right? Some pass through successfully, while some, uh, okay, they pass through successfully, while some that hit the nucleus of this atom. This is nucleus, nucleus of what of the atom, right? So, some that hit the nucleus of what of this what thing go for it, some they were, they were, they were deflected. So some were deflected what to this direction, right? Let's say another one pass. This one will pass through. This one will pass through, of course. This passes through, right? But this one hits the nucleus again. They were deflected to other directions. Let's see. I uh, you know the diagram cannot be perfect, uh -huh, but of course, I just make it understand that what some that some the ones that hit the nucleus of the atom were deflected. So some were deflected what to this what to this direction. So it went in like this. It was what it was deflected. Why some some hit uh, some that went like went this way. Uh, let's say it's another one that hits this way. Somewhere they were deflected to what to this one to this part. All right. So this is this is like a diagrammatic explanation of the alpha scattering experiment by Ernest Rutherford. So he bombarded what a single for what with what with alpha particles from an alpha particle source. This is the source of the alpha particle. So it was, it was hitting the single for so the ones that hit the nucleus of the atom they were what they were deflected to other world direction. While some passed through successfully, you can see for example this one, this three here. Yeah, these three, they were what? Uh, these three are uh, uh, non deflected, they were non deflected alpha particles. All right? Why these ones, uh, these ones were what? This, like this one was what? It deflected, deflected what? Alpha particle. All right, so the, 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 the uh, uh, the experiments show that what that an atom has a tiny what massive what nucleus. So the one that what that hit what the nucleus were what were deflected. Were the ones that what 
uh, uh, pass through what why some why some other what uh, alpha particles were pass through what successfully because they were not hitting the nucleus. So the diagram is not so much complex. It's not complex. Uh, this this uh, this is a tingle for this is an alpha source hitting what the tingle for some particles pass through successfully while some were were deflated to other direction. That is just all about the what the diagram. Now. Rutherford's model is seldomly, seldomly, please note, I don't say it's always, or it is called, I say it is seldomly referred to as the planetary model. Planetary model. So Rutherford's model is seldomly referred to as the planetary model. Seldomly. So like one in, in 1,000. Call it what we call it the planetary model because it can also be replaced uh, be, be represented in what in the planetary what model right? but that does not mean but of course they ask you in an exam in an exam condition which of the following uh, uh, uh model or of the atom is regarded which of the following people postulated the model of the atom that is regarded as the planetary model you most likely not take rutherford if there's nail ball there if ball is in the option you take ball because uh, his, 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 his experiment was that of the planetary model. But of course, if Bo is not there, we cannot take what Rutherford's model. We can represent this in what? In the planet, planetary model. Just let me do a very small sketch for you. A very tiny little sketch for you, please. It's not going to take uh, most of our time. Just a little time. So, so in the planetary way, we're having something like this. Right? Right? Right. Right. Okay. So I have something like this. Ah, may, maybe this is too big. I'm going to make it smaller. All right. All right. Better. I'm going to make it smaller. All right. Okay. Let me just complete this. Let me close it here. All right. Okay. So then the planetary model is something like this. All right, like something orbiting around it, then right, then I have something another one this way. All right, we can have another one this way. All right, uh, another one can sit on this way. So this is like the planetary model. All right, so there are electrons revolving around around them, right. And then this is small, small detail. Okay, so this is just like the planetary what model representation of Rutherford's what experiment, the planetary model representation, right? So why these are what? This is an electron, right? This, of course, uh, this is the proton, right? This is a, a neutron. Of course, this is the electron. Then, of course, this is the nucleus of what of the atom. This is the nucleus, nucleus of what of the atom. So, this is the planetary what model representation of Rutherford's what model, right? So that's why I say it is seldomly, seldomly, because I don't think I said it quite well. Seldomly referred referred to as the planetary what model, right? Okay, so now. Uh, Rutherford was the first person to discover what the what the proton. Um, uh, there's a man called Eugene Goldstein. Eugene Goldstein. Eugene Goldstein thought that he has what he had discovered what the uh, the the proton, but uh, certainly he did not. Right? His experiment led him to discover some positive ion. Some positive ion. Right, so his experiment, Eugene Goldstein's experiment, led him to discover some what, some positive ion, but not the proton. It was Rutherford who discovered the proton, and he was the one that named it the proton. And therefore, Rutherford was the one that took what the credit for discovering what the proton. So most certainly, they ask you in an exam condition who discovered the proton. It is what N.S. Rutherford, not not Eugene Goldstein. Eugene Goldstein experiment did not lead him to discover. He thought he had encountered or discovered what the proton, but he had not. It was what Rutherford who discovered it and the one who named it proton and therefore is one that takes the credit. So this is where we're going to stop today.
uh, pertaining uh, to Ruta Force model, please do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscription is free. Just click on the red subscribe button below the channel so that when we publish a new video, you get a notification on your phone that we have published a new video. That is the only benefit of subscription. So if you do not want to get notifications, you may decide not to subscribe. But please click on the red subscribe button and follow us up as we take on what the next class because every class is a sequence every episode is a sequel to what to the next one please uh, do not forget to download the uh, o3 school jump app from play store and activate because your examination is very very what essential so you're gaining admission into any tertiary institution in nigeria all right i'll see you in the next class my name remains Olabi Tangod. bye